Hi everyone, I'm Levi and you're watching the Future Maker Lab channel. Our mission is to raise awareness about CTE fields and have fun while we're doing it. Today, we're looking at 3D printing and CNC machines. Let's get started. Let's start with 3D printing. Now a 3D printer is a machine that's actually gonna take plastic filament, squeeze it through a little nozzle where it melts, and it's gonna lay down in layers and cool back down and harden. So it's actually gonna stack up an object layer by layer. It's gonna look a lot like this. We can see how the 3D printer is going layer by layer to build up the object, a lot like if you were taking icing on a cake to make a 3D object. Layer by layer till the part is done. Now let's show you some of the really cool things that people have 3D printed. So probably my favorite example of 3D printing and some of its uses was up on the International Space Station right here. So they got up to the International Space Station and they realized that they didn't have a tool that they really needed, it's a torque wrench. Now, instead of actually paying all the money and waiting for them to bring one up on a spaceship, they had the people on the ground draw one up, they sent it to them in a print file that they put in a printer here on the International Space Station, and they 3D printed the tool. And I actually have that tool with us right now. Can you, uh, can you throw that to me? Thank you. So this is from the file that they sent up to the International Space Station. Loaded it in their printer, printed it off, it actually works. It's a completely working tool. Pretty cool. All right, I'm throwing it back. Let's look at some more stuff. Now, this is something that Che actually did in the beginning of the uh, that situation. This is a mask for the firefighters in our area. Really good masks were hard to find, and we couldn't just go down to the store and get them, so they had to make them themselves. What they did is they printed off this mask portion, and on the inside, they put a layer of foam so it'll seal on your face. And then on the front, they have filters that you can swap in and out so you don't have to keep reusing the same filter. Really creative solution. It was all done because of 3D printing. We got a brand new toy that I want to show you guys because it relates perfectly to this video. So this is actually a 3D printing pen. It works the same way that a 3D printer would, except you can draw in 3D with it. So I'm going to start off by coming down onto our little platform right here. When I press the button, it's going to force melted filament out the front. Now remember, the 3D printer, we build layer by layer. So if I wanted to build up, I'm gonna come back, go right on top of that. So that's pretty much it for our 3D pens. We're actually looking at making them a station in the Future Maker Mobile Learning Lab, which is the trailer that we take out to schools and events filled with cool technology that we teach kids about STEM education with. If you haven't seen that before, you should check us out at www.futuremakerlab.com. We would absolutely love to do an event with you guys. Let's get back to the video. Now let's talk about CNC machines, which are pretty much the exact opposite of 3D printers. Now a 3D printer, remember, is an additive process where we build layer by layer. A CNC machine is subtractive, so we're gonna start with a big chunk of material and then tear it down until we have what we need. So here you can see a CNC machine with a mill on it actually taking away from a piece of metal until we have the part that we want. This is the most common type of CNC machine. It's gonna be with a little drill bit on it. There's a bunch of different ones though. The one you may have seen before is the robotic arm on the car assembly line. That's also a CNC machine because it's computer numeric controlled. If you wanna do this for a job, you can actually make quite a bit of money operating these machines. Here in our state, the starting wage average is about $21 an hour. Pretty good. So that's gonna wrap it up for our video today. Hopefully you see why 3D printing and CNC machines are awesome. If you could please like and share this video, that would really help us out. We're a brand new YouTube channel. We need help getting off the ground and out to people. So if you would share this with anybody that might be interested in this stuff, we would really appreciate it. That's gonna be it for today. I'm Levi from the Future Maker Lab. Have a fantastic day. <laughs> sorry, I'll do that again. So that, sorry, that was just so good. When I press that front button, it's gonna force filament out the front the same way that it would with a.